right, hello everybody, how you all doing? I hope you all doing well. My name is Paradise and welcome to the Paradise League Normal Open Forest of Caldovar Tournament Season number one. We're gonna have here is day number three with semi-finals one with fellowship against what is your education, son? And I'm joined here by Henke and Mr. Happy Asthma, aka Mark. Gentlemen, how are you doing today? Doing very well. It's bright and early here in the west coast of the United States, and I'm ready to watch some Amazing games of Han. Both these teams crushed us when we played them, so I'm excited to see two of the best go at it. Hanke, how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful, man. Thanks for asking. It's very warm outside, but here I am inside, casting the lovely game we all love. Hopefully we got some AC. We got some bands coming out already. Uh, Artesia, Electrician were already banned. Those were two that dominated us when we played them. Bushwhack, Hammerstorm, Swiftblade, what are your thoughts? All in all, I think it's very decent bands, very usual bands from what we have seen in the last tournaments. Hammerstorm, yeah. Bushwhack being very strong heroes, so I can definitely see those being banned. Yeah, maybe some target bands too, Electrician Artesia. Yeah, do they have some players that consistently play these two oh, heroes? Good. Yeah, when we played uh, against Fellowship, they picked both those heroes against us. Uh, I, and I, I didn't watch all their other games because I was playing at the same time, but uh, yeah. I'm assuming those are two that they tend to pick up if they're left on the board. So cool some profit respect pickup. bands. Mm. That's a hero we've been seeing a lot of. Yeah, Prophet has some really good teamfight potential and doing a lot of arrests. Plague Rider. We do a Plague Rider pickup. Hmm, interesting. That is one I did not see as much. Oh, Keeper, that's the hero that they love to pick up. That hero is so tough to play against. Yeah, a strong Keeper player can be very annoying to deal with. Yeah, and that, that Grasp, when he pops out of his uh, invis, oh, it's, it feels like that lasts forever. <laughs> yeah. How long is the duration? It's... It's two seconds at max. Oh, it, it feels it feels like fifty. <laughs> he pops into nowhere else. Creeps are bashing on you. You die so fast. Solstice. Oh, look at this! Ooh, is that jungle solstice potentially? Are we gonna see something unique? I think we're gonna see Prophet Solstice long lane. Ooh, yeah, that'll be something to see. That is something I have played quite a lot actually in oh, uh, yeah. TMM, and it's very strong. I'm excited to see it. <laughs> the question is if the enemy knows if they're going Prophet Solstice. Monarch. Oh, Monarch, Vega. I Monarch. feel like the defensive supports are definitely the meta in this tournament. We've been seeing a lot of, you know, Pearl, Monarch, Prophet, these heroes with heals. Yeah. You got any insight on that, Henge? In the high TMM? Um, I can agree that... Um... Defensive support is really in the meta because you can actually save your carry. <laughs> and that is, from my view, what support is for. Like, I mean, if, for example, if you would have like a Witch Slayer or a uh, Rift Walker or something with high damage, like, yeah, maybe you can kill someone, but you can never save your carry most of the times. Yeah. Yeah, that was something we struggled with. Uh, if you if you go all in in a team fight and you didn't kill them in time, and then they get like a Monarch Cocoon or a Pearl Ulti, they can just turn the fight so fast and now everything's on cooldown. Yeah, that's true. I really like the Monarch pickup here though, considering they have picked Keeper in the enemy team, so he can just use his ulti and remove Keeper ultimate instantly. Yeah, that'll be huge if Monarch can react. Yeah. That could be game changing. Oh, Berserker ban coming out. That was another uh, favorite. I believe just Kimmy plays Berserker, but that's the one they picked up against us. Yeah. Yeah, Sal Kimmy has Puppet to... been corrupted. Mm. Good bans overall, I would say. Yeah, I'd say so. I did not see much corrupted that we played against, um, but again, maybe a, a more popular ban against these two teams. Uh, I understand uh, the Corrupted Disciple ban here because the Corrupted Disciple is one of the heroes that actually can counter Solstice Prophet very well. Uh, 
but uh, you don't really see corrupted bands. It's not really worth banning. In most games, it's not like a super carry you are afraid of. Gotcha. So they're picking that, hoping that their Prophet Solstice lane can go really strong. Yeah. If you were a Hellborn team, what are you thinking of other heroes that could counter that kind of a lane? Um, that is a good question, actually. Like, if the Prophet Solstice lane are... Uh, good players it's very hard to deal with it two versus two so one way you could counter is is by trialing them top and just completely destroy them yeah it'll be interesting to see how they end up laning this yeah i'm i'm, I'm really curious how how this is gonna fall out we're still waiting on both mid and carry picks from teams so yeah i wonder how they're gonna try and take this into the late game we should have one more ban coming out. They banned Mage Bane. That's another annoying one. Ooh, and Gladiator. Really strong mid hero. Yeah. Good bans. Um, so, what are they going to pick up here? Hmm. Ooh, this is Shadow Pick and Devour. That's a really Ooh. high impact hero. I think they might pick Devour for Shoyo Royal. I know this player loves Devour. Oh! Ooh, Dishan. That's another very popular support pick. He's so strong right now. Yeah. Yeah, that, that Unbreakable and his ultimate is very, very nice. Yeah, I imagine right. you have to go physical damage carry then to stack with the Storm Cloud. Yeah. That's for sure an advantage. Sure. Ooh, like Silet, so yeah. Nice pickup. Wonder how Legion's gonna respond to that. Yeah. So I guess their plan is like sort of to use them at the Shaman Alti, and then you have Silhouette with his E spell that gives even bonus physical damage when he's hitting people. Bubbles. Bubbles. Bubbles mid pickup. Hmm. What that's do you think hero about I haven't seen much. Yeah, that's interesting. I think it'll actually go well if they end up picking Devourer. With that take cover, it'll be really hard for Devo to get ahead on him. Yeah. And then an early six on Bubbles, he has some roam potential. The Bubbles pick in this game in particular, I think, is a very, very good pick coming out from them here. Because uh, if you see at Hellborn team, they have extremely to none catch. So yeah, they're lacking the any stuns, really. Yeah. So I think Bubbles here is going to have a very good game if he plays it right. Oh, and a Predator carry. That would be really one. nice. Purge off the Keeper ulti with his spell. He can go immune if Plague ultis. Mm. Ooh, a Riptide mid. Riptide, okay. interesting. Hmm. That's another hero I didn't end up playing against this tournament, but I know for TMM, a good Riptide can be really strong. That is true. You have to keep tabs on him all over the map once his ulti's up. Yeah. I mean, after all, it's it's BKB and Shil, uh, his most favorite Let's hero. Yeah. This will be a fun match. I do think I'd favor the Legion lineup of the two just based on the picks, but I mean, what do I know? Both of these teams uh, picked heroes we didn't anticipate, and they played them so well. Yeah. Listen, we got a quick pause here while someone's reconnecting. I've noticed uh, kind of an inconsistent amount. Some teams like to take the early TP to get vision up. Other teams don't seem to prioritize that as much. Do you have any thoughts on to whether it's worth like rushing out to get an early ward to try and figure out what the lanes are going to be? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, if you manage to TP and actually see the enemy, if you can see two of them or just one of them, you can pretty much estimate how they are going to lane the other lanes and then you can rotate to whatever is best for your team. So I think that's a very good thing to do. Yeah, I'm curious if these guys will end up doing it at uh, the semifinals here, where 
the rest of the tournament's on the line. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting. Right, they're reconnected and we're ready to go. So how do you think Hellborn's going to lane here, actually? Do you have any thoughts? I have no idea. I assume it's got to be Riptide mid, but uh, it seems mm -hmm. like they might send Dishon with him, potentially. Suicide Plague. And then just run to top with Keeper going in and out of the jungle as needed and coming in for ganks. But that's going to be really tough. You said the Solstice Prophet lane is really strong. I mean, Solstice yeah. is hard to get a hold of. Or, uh, excuse me, Silhouette's hard to get a hold of, but... If you can catch her while her uh, grips on cooldown, they have some serious skill potential. Yeah, that's true. Although maybe they're rotating Dish on top after all. He got some vision down on mid. Yeah. I think okay, we so are watching... Okay, so it'll be a bit of a tri-lane top with Keeper yeah. in jungle. Nice. That is very, very well played of them to shut down this Solstice Prophet lane if they manage. Yeah, and Plague's a hard suicide to go against. Since he can deny the creeps, he almost always gets some X from the lane control. Legion will yeah. have to do a good job uh, managing the pool and keeping pressure on that Plague so he doesn't get a quick 6 and ulti the Ancients. That's true. Yeah, Pl Plague is really one of... At least in my eyes, it's like one of the most annoying suicide heroes because... I mean, it, you can easily kill it, but... It's just annoying that you know that you're going to lose a lot of creeps just because he denies them. And there's nothing you can yeah. do about it. Yeah, exactly. And then because he can ulti the Ancients, he didn't really catch back up on levels, even if you keep him pretty low. Yeah, that is true. What are your, what are your thoughts here on the mid matchup? If you are a, a Bubbles going against Riptide, who do you favor here? Um, 100% Riptide over yeah. Bubbles. With that silence and the jump, you can get on top of him. Do some serious yeah. damage. And Rita just have too much auto attack damage mm -hmm. against the bubbles. Yeah, if you get some good denies, you can really start falling behind. Yeah. Well, the bubbles oh. doing pretty well so far, positioning himself and securing those last hits safely up the hill. Yeah, he is. Well played. So we do see Keeper ending up in the jungle here in the beginning, at least. Yeah, I have a feeling he's going to get a few levels in the jungle and just be very active top whenever yeah. the lane gets pushed up. He can come out of invis and try and set up something. But that means that the top lane might have a little bit of pressure with the Prophet and Solstice until Keeper makes a presence. That is true. Oh, they're going here on... The Prophet here doing some harass. Yeah. Good damage on that Prophet. Yeah. You can't underestimate the uh, harass from Silhouette either. If they can keep him low enough, maybe they won't be able to go in. That is true. Yeah, Silhouette does a lot of damage. Predator putting some good damage on the Plague. He's about half HP, but they're already at Plague's Tower because he's denying the creeps and blocking so well. Well, Rip that picking up an Iron Shield here. What do you think about that? That's interesting. I mean, I do like the Iron Shield pickup on a lot of heroes. It, mm -hmm. it, if you're building the agility items anyway, it builds up nice. But I don't know about first item on mid. Maybe because he's taking a lot of grass from the bubbles. He just wants that extra reduction. Yeah. Like, when Bumble's auto attacks rip it now, he barely does any damage at all with that auto attack when he has the Iron Shield. Yeah. And Riptide's leading right now in GPM by a bit, as we'd expect with that uh, extra yeah. damage he gets in the water. It's really tough to go up against that early on. Yeah. It's not gonna be a, an easy time for Bubbles. It's gonna yeah, be a very hard he's game. He's going on Bubbles now, but he's able to shell away. Yeah, Riptide's already got four four denies now. Bubbles yeah. sitting there with zero. Top lane, though, Solstice is really low. He's bringing a Ramsal Potion, but they're actually bringing a lot of harass there from the Hellborn side. Oh, you see what I'm seeing here? Keeper trying to come here. Yeah, Keeper trying to make a play. And this is what makes him so hard to play against. He'll come out of nowhere, get the root, and then you have a three on two. Although they kind of suss it out here because they have some good vision. Yeah, that's a well-placed Rev Ward. Amazing yeah. wards, yeah. They have a, a regular ward and a Rev Ward there to, to 
see the keeper, and they actually are going to set up some damage on him here. Hmm. Although, that might hint to him that they have vision, but we'll see. The GPMs are a bit in favor of Hellborn right now because they have that keeper in the jungle, but Pred's doing a really good job. Of course, he's got the free lane, but he's a little bit handicapped, as you mentioned, because Plague's denying a creep every wave. Yeah. Oh, look at top plan here, Keeper, trying to go in again. Will he be able oh, to catch? Yeah. No, he will not. No, the vision's too strong. Ah, uh, but yet, yeah, see? Whoa. Now they know it's here. Are they able to get the deny in on their rev ward? They took the regular ward out, but the, their rev is going to fall, so the Legion will keep their ward of revelation for a little bit longer. That is true. Invis Bubbles being follows the invis, so we'll have to see if he makes a play with that later, although he's about a level behind the, soul, the um, Riptide right now. Excuse me. Look at Keeper again, man, just lurking around yeah. up there. So active. <laughs> Bringing pressure. Oh. oh. Keeper, though, getting jumped on, but Solstice might be in a little bit too deep here. Deschamps throwing out a heal. Keeper really low, but Solstice is about to fall, and he does. And first blood goes to the... Actually, the Keeper of the Forest. To the keeper. And look at mid-layer Riptide going in. Keep Riptide the going in on mid, diving tower a little bit. He's got his bottle full still, though, so he's all, he'll be all right. Well, that's a good bloodlust coming out from the keeper there. Yeah, maybe a little too aggressive by the Legion. They thought they could get the keeper in time. Yeah. Didn't work out. Slightly overstepping there. Indeed. Riptide hits his six, so now he'll have some presence. Although he does not level up his ulti. Is that conventional for Solstice? Or for, um, I keep saying Solstice, for Riptide? Um, yeah, like, you don't really need your ultimate uh, level 6 on Riptide. It doesn't really provide much this early. Because mm. your agility is kind of low at this point, so it's better off just getting more points on Q or W. Good to know. Plus, I guess if you're dominating your lane, you don't need to roam so much. They yeah. bring Monarch up top, but Keeper Ooh. potioning up level 6, coming in for the sneak attack here on Legion. This could be really bad if they don't detect this. They are Think starting to zone. back up a little bit. But Keeper's in, he attacks for the root on Prophet, then gets a actually triple ulti, it does hit the Monarch. They don't even know who's there. Monarch puts a cocoon on the Prophet last second, but Prophet will fall. Souls is now trapped by the creeps really low. Bubbles tippies up, but it's not enough. They get a double tap. Bubbles is not six yet, so he does not have his ulti to try and return. Ends up being a two for O, and Bubbles rotates for nothing. Wow. Keeper with the presence already, that gank was huge. Yeah, Keeper being really active here, doing some work for them. Yeah, this is what happened when they picked up Keeper against us, it, it felt like the same thing. Every time you try to take even a breath, he was there again ganking. And even now, <laughs> he's still kind of keeping himself known in top lane, staying really yeah. close to the wave. Look, well, look coming in this. again potentially for another gank, this is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> he gets on the Prophet with another another one. Prophet getting really low with the heal bomb from Disham. Is it enough? Prophet falls. Silhouette getting really low in the background, but is able to escape with the free jump. Now they get a surround going. Double and another seven. kill on Solstice. Another double wow. kill here for uh, Hellborn on the top lane. That Keeper of the Forest, they have to ban that next game. Meanwhile, they dove really hard on the Plague. Plague, though, with a nice pullback. Predator oh. diving way too deep. Plague with the hugest play of the year. Oh, oh but the last second leap takes him down. Oh my god, Pred dove <laughs> way too deep there, but uh, really smart play there on the Plague Rider on Tinks to get him with the Plague W and kind of keep him tethered and play around the tether. He almost survived there last second. Good TPs there from uh, Riptide to clean up the kill. Look at the, push the other thing the about point. Keeper, top lane, he can push so aggressively. If he gets that early lead, your towers just melt and that early tower goes so hard to recover if you fall behind. TP's in, coming in from top. Keeper overstaying a little bit here. Monarch holding him in place. Bubbles now in place. Solstice with the charge. Keeper getting really low. They throw an unbreakable on him. It pops. Is it going to be enough? Another heal. Oh. Keeper's ulti's back up. He's able to use it to save himself. One dies in the background. The Keeper ulti. Prophet getting really low. Actually, they're all getting really low. They're focusing on Bubbles right now. Meanwhile, Predator did a dive bottom. We missed it, but he got a kill. Bubbles falling. They're going for even more kills here. Both Prophet and Solstice is really, really low. The Riptide yeah. Rook, it's over. They're going to get the Prophet. Uh, excuse me. Prophet's now going for the run. They get the bubbles. Now they get the Prophet. 
Keep her getting low, but we'll be okay. So they get four kills there up top for nothing. Meanwhile, Predator gets a consolation kill bottom solo on the Plague, but at what cost? You lose four kills and the top tower there. Don't get this anyone is just in return. going out of hand. Yeah, this is very one-sided. And now they already take top tower. Keeper can start pressuring mid tower going forward. Oh, Riptide is invis room bottom. Ooh. They're trying to set up here on the Predator. Oh. Play comes back. He initiates out of the invis. Play gets some damage down. Kimmy's just trying to stay alive any way he can, but he will not. Oh the no. The damage is just too much. And now it's 11 to two. Ooh, this is going really rough for Legion team. They need something to get them back into this. They're really behind in X, too. They only have yeah. two people level six or above. They have no ulti on Solstice, no ulti on Prophet, and no ulti on Monarch. That is nope. really tough for team fight. And now Keeper rotating mid, they're going to start pressuring. And these towers are going to begin to fall while Silhouette just continues to farm. Riptide, 500 GPMs, uh, Silhouette, 480. Yeah. Here they go on mid tower. And they can't even defend us with the bubbles. He has ulti, but they just let it fall. He tries for the deny, but they can't they can't snag it. Mid tower down. Meanwhile, a potential gank on top. Dishom coming up from behind. Solstice way out of position here. Actually, he's already dead. Silhouette just 1v1s him. I don't know what he's thinking up that far. Level 7 silhouette, level 5 Solstice. Uh Riptide potentially making a play here on bubbles on mid. He does jump in the bubbles, he gets the silence, plays somewhere around to, to blast him before he can get a shell off, and he will fall. Ooh, Monarch almost gets caught there by the Plague W, but he survives. Oh, no. I didn't even see that, he vanished so fast. Profit down. I'm guessing Keeper got onto him. Now, Legion team, four people pushing mid while Silhouette rotates back to farm. No, Silhouette gets a double damage, he's actually gonna come push as well. So, Silhouette with a bottle double damage. They're pushing mid tower, silhouette pressing top tower. The only thing they have is Kimmy farming, doing what he can. Oh, Keeper ulti out. on mid catches two, Solstice and Monarch. The plague ulti comes out and they just die instantaneously. Two heroes down and the tower will fall. 16 to 2 right now. With another mid tower down. It's a three tower advantage in favor of Hellborn. Kimmy trying to get that bottom tower as a consolation to keep his team in it any way he can. But I don't know if it'll be enough. Level 10 now on Riptide. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Look at the bubbles here. Only having 147 GPM against Riptide 575. The entire Legion team has 150 or lower GPM except for Predator, who's only 350. Meanwhile, almost the entire Hellborn team is 350 or above. Now Hellborn pressuring the top tower. This is what I'm saying about the Keeper Snowball. This is what happened to us. Once they get a couple good ganks and they take out four towers in two minutes, what do you do? I don't even know how you claw, crawl back into this game. And they've got to be careful. Prophet almost gets caught there. Now they're rotating to bottom. Keeper TPing in. They're going to pressure that tower. Oh, Plague. Predator jumping in. Or, excuse me. Predator trying to initiate, actually, on the Riptide, but he sees he's the... He's in trouble he's here. To back out. Yeah, he's in trouble here. They get the stun off with the Dishom, and Kimmy probably will fall here. He's trying to escape from the three heroes. Let's see how his jukes work out. A really nice attempt at a juke, but it's just not enough. And Kimmy goes down, and now the entire Hellborn team pretty much rotating bottom to pressure that tower as well. I don't know about you, Mark, but this game looks very grim. Yeah, it seems out of control, and as they continue to take more towers, the Legion team is falling further and further behind. They still don't have six on Solstice, they still don't have six on Monarch. They just finally got it on Profit. The, the gold lead is insane. 17,000. They have more than double the gold of Legion team. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. And then they're just so behind now in levels as well. And it's hard to farm on the map once you start losing those towers. Look at Silhouette Although Silhouette getting really low. Bubbles Monarch with a nice gank, almost killing Silhouette. About 100 HP left. He's able to tree grapple away. Look at that would have been a really nice here. kill to get something. Meanwhile, they're just pressuring bottom tower. They fortify it for the Legion. Kimmy smoked, but I don't know what he can do here against four heroes under leveled. And they can't do anything, they just let the bottom towers fall. Two more towers to extend the Hellborn lead. At least Solstice and Prophet got the top tower here. Yeah, Solstice getting a six and picking up the top tower, doing what they can to trade on the map. They needed that, a little bit of gold spike. 
The only thing that can maybe save him is if Hellborn dives. Kimmy actually going in a little bit here on the Riptide, but he's gonna be careful because he's by himself. Oh. Plague Alti going in though with the Keeper Alti. Plague Alti dissipates, but Monarch does fall to the Keeper Alti. Oh no. And now, Prophet return Alti and just kind of defensively here. Legion getting a little bit a little bit low, but if they can get healed up and get back, maybe they can make a fight here. The Keeper gets a root onto the Predator, but it's not enough. Legion getting low. Solstice is getting kind of caught out here, and Solstice will fall. They're in their base. They're already diving a little bit here. Riptide <laughs> just putting pressure on while the tower falls. They're going for racks here already. They have that Keeper wow. uh, Astrolabe just to give them a little bit of extra refreshment, and the tower will already fall. They're going for melee racks already. I don't think they can stop them. Yeah, Legion's healing up to try and make a fight here. Let's see if they can do anything. They're putting some damage on the Keeper, but these buildings are starting to get really low. Range Rack's almost dead. Melee at half. Range will fall. Melee getting really low. Hellborn just doesn't have the damage. They're too underleveled. There's too much itemization. Oh. Are they actually able to save the Melee Racks? They're going to go in here on the Keeper of the Forest. Silhouette's also a little bit low, but they're just so tanky. Solstice goes in, but they actually get the return kill on the Solstice, and now Hellborn's coming back into the base. Just trying to TP out on Predator with the uh, Stonehide. He does escape, but the Rax will fall to get two more kills and the Raxes. And the Legion does not get a single kill there. That might be the death stroke there. We'll have to see if Legion can somehow win a team fight. But they're just so far behind in Golden X. Solstice and Silhouette both over 600 GPM. Desham and uh, Keeper over 400. And now Plague at 350 is higher than anyone on the Legion team. And they lost a set of racks. <laughs> this is really, really grim. 21 to yeah. 2 kills. Even their suicide player has well, more GPM than out. everyone. Yeah, and that is the game. The keeper pick was just way too strong. Also, I think the Riptide got too much on the mid. The bubble started to fall behind as well. And the two of them just steamrolled.